the whole reason I did this book called Out of Hiding is I believe it's fairly obvious there's a crisis in, in remembrance. And as the uh, people who can testify to what the Holocaust was really about because they were there are soon gonna be no longer with us, how do we carry on the conversation and how do we keep learning? And this is what motivated me to put together this book. When I went to school in West Vancouver, uh, I never got a single uh, class or instruction about the Holocaust. And I think my two sons went to school in Vancouver, Kitts High and something. And those are relatively good high schools, I think, or what we think of as a good high school. And to my recognition, I don't think they ever got any Holocaust instruction either. So I have a grandson now, he's two, three, I know, two or something. Anyway, I'm thinking, hold on a second. I want my grandchild to know what the Holocaust is. And if I didn't get that instruction, and maybe they had some instruction there for a little while, but some of my kids missed out on it, I don't know. But I did find out that in fact, the mandatory Holocaust uh, education or instruction, I believe went off the BC school curriculum agenda officially like about four or five years ago. So in fact, you can go through the whole system now and still not get any education. This strikes me as madness. And I so need to know, I've self-educated myself in a, in a small way towards the end of my life. And I'm resentful that I didn't get proper instruction sooner. And I've tried to make some sense of this and think, well, what is the solution? And so that's why I did this book because I had the skills to actually put together and in order to do projects such as out of hiding. And, and so what really interests me about coming here is not that I, I'm not an expert in the Holocaust. I'd have to spend 50 years to be able to say I'm an expert in the Holocaust because every day you read about the Holocaust, you learn something new. So this is what is astonishing. You can never learn enough about the Holocaust. So I'm in no way an expert on the Holocaust. What I am is a very clever journalist and I can do things really fast. 